you know what? I probably shouldn't wear this for the fifth day in a row. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to episode 11 of the Mace of Skeins podcast. My name is Macy and this is my little corner of YouTube where I talk all things knitting, sometimes crochet, and whatever crafty thing I happen to be doing this week. If you're a new viewer, thank you so much for clicking my channel and seeing what I'm all about. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back time and time again to see what shenanigans I'm up to in the knitting world. So first off, happy holidays, happy late Thanksgiving, happy early Christmas, or merry early Christmas I guess. Uh, yeah, I've been gone for almost a month. I have reasons. I feel like I say this every single time. I've been cooking up a storm for Thanksgiving and I went through, or I went to four different Thanksgiving parties. So I had lots of cooking to do. I think I did, uh, I'll pop in a picture of all the ingredients that I used, but I think I made a total eight green bean casseroles, four uh, glazed carrots, and then I did, well, 432 biscuits right off the bat. Um, and, oh, I started on Sunday, and I made 432 biscuits. And then Monday, I made four green bean casseroles and four peach apple bourbon pies, I think. And then Tuesday, I made glazed carrots, two glazed carrots, two green bean casseroles, two peach apple bourbon pies. And then Wednesday, I didn't cook anything. And then on actual Thanksgiving, so Thursday, I made another round of pies, another green bean casserole, and more glazed carrots. So I cooked way more food than anybody that I know, and I am definitely not doing that again next year. <laughs> so I was planning on filming a podcast right before Thanksgiving, and then time got away, and I was like, oh, God, I've got to cook. And then I just was like, you know what? I'll just wait until after. And uh, I didn't realize that I would be waiting all the way until December. So sorry about that. But uh, the Thanksgiving parties, I went to my parents. Uh, they had a ton of people over. And then after that, I went to Knitsgiving, which is uh, my knitting group had a Thanksgiving party. I went to that one. And then I went to Alex's family's house. And then we had another little mini one at uh, my parents again. So, well, I mean, it wasn't really another party it was just like we're all hanging out eating so it was pretty fun and what i wore to all of them was this the huge elephant in the room the party top that you literally only saw the like this part it's finished it's done i'm wearing i'm still wearing my christmas pajamas because i thought you know why would i need to put pants on if you guys don't see them so i wore it on the dress like on top of a dress the other night but i'm just wearing it over just a denim shirt uh so it's cropped, it fits right at my waist. This is what it looks, ow. This is what it looks like in the back. It's got these perfect little, okay. Let me rephrase that, not perfect. I think they look great. I've messed up multiple of them. But it's got these little, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yeah, you can. These little eyelets. Oh, I just love them so much. And it's cool because you can see the like shirt underneath it. Like you can see that it's like I'm wearing a blue shirt. Um, and then it's, that's how long it is. Like I've got it folded, but it's just twisted ribbing on the cuff, twisted ribbing up here and then twisted ribbing down there. I love it so, 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 so much. And I ended up knitting it. Well, by the way, it's called the party top by Abby knits. I don't know if I said that or not, but I ended up knitting it. Let's see. I cast on on Halloween and then I knit about this much and then just like a little up to here. And then I podcasted on, I think, wait, the 6th or something of November. And I think I was only right here. But I did, um, when I stood up, I lost my little, oh, and I just knocked the lights off. Oh, well, I lost my little chair. Um, I put it down for like a solid week just because I got busy and I had to knit a baby blanket, which I'll talk about in a second. But uh, time got away, and I completely forgot that I casted it on. And so it was just like, oh my god, I'm, I need this to be done before the Thanksgiving party, and I haven't even, like, separated from the sleeves yet, and it's already halfway over with November. Which, uh, November, did anybody else feel like it lasted, like, all of two weeks? Like, I feel like October was, like, two months long, and November was, like, two weeks long. Uh, yeah, I'm not ready for Christmas. I mean, I'm excited, but I am nowhere near ready. <laughs> and Christmas is in like 20 days. <laughs> like if I calculate all the days, it'll probably be right around 15 days of knitting. Uh, so I finished this sweater in 15 days. It can be done, guys. I mean, granted, it is a crop. 
So if I was doing a normal sweater, I would probably have about like seven more inches of knitting and uh, a full sleeve to knit. So it is a crop sweater, but it can be done. I think like Christy Glass knit the uh, Soldatna, which is the one that took me forever that, and I ended up doing full body and long sleeve, but she knit hers in four days. I mean, hers is the crop with short sleeves, but still. So the yarn that I used is a Madeline Tosh sock, uh, Madeline Tosh work sock in the foundry colorway. I think I said all of this last podcast, but just in case. Um, and I got two huge skeins of it. And this is how much I have left. This took, I mean, it took a lot of yarn, but it took like no yarn at the same time. I mean, these were huge beefy skeins. Let me see. There was, yeah, Madeline Tosh work sock, foundry colorway. It is sport weight, 75% merino, 25% nylon, and it is it was a 400 yard skein. Anyway, so it was a big beefy skein to begin with, but I used a full first one, and then I've got 98 grams left. Like, almost 100, and that's, like, I mean, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> it definitely, um, you can kind of see where the first, so somewhere I found it I don't I can't think of where it is but I separated for the sleeves right here and then like all of this until the right like right around here was the first skein and then you see how it gets darker like right there which works out great because it's like right under the boob line so it like s changes colors I mean you can't really well I guess you can kind of tell on the sides but it's the whole first skein and then it stops here and then it starts the second skein and then I picked up for the sleeves and uh, knit those on the like the new skein. So I guess you can kind of see like how it's a different, I mean like right up here is like way lighter than all the other ones. So I should have alternated skeins, but I mean, I'm not worried by it. Like I'm not bothered that you can see like a different color change. I think it's not as noticeable in the back or maybe, I don't know. I don't care because I love it. And I love, 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 love this color. And it worked out great that it was my Thanksgiving sweater because I was telling everybody that this is uh, the stuffing and my hair is cranberry sauce. So I was uh, right on cue for Thanksgiving. <laughs> but yeah, this is my party top. And I've worn it. Well, I wore it to all the, I wore it to all of the Thanksgivings, except the one at Alex's parents' house. I ended up wearing my Tecumseh just because I was like, you know what? I probably shouldn't wear this for the fifth day in a row. <laughs> uh, I mean, I wore it with like things underneath it. So, I mean, it, I never repeated outfits. I just repeated part of the outfit. So I think the first day I wore it with like a purple dress under it. And then I wore it with a blue dress and then another blue dress. And then now I'm wearing it with so the shirt. So it makes me happy that I can wear a crop top that doesn't have to be over a dress. I mean, I probably wouldn't wear it with pajama pants like I'm doing now. If you guys are looking for a quick sweater to knit, uh, I would 100%, 100, 1000% recommend the party top. I love this and I'll probably knit another one, not anytime soon, but uh, I think I might want one in like navy, maybe. Hmm. I don't know, I just love how fast it knit up. And I might end up doing like the same one, but just like full body so I can wear, cause I just like love the way it fits. It's so fitted and I just, I'll, I can talk about this for hours, so I'm <laughs> just going to go ahead and make myself stop talking about it. But if you need a sweater to cast on, I 100% recommend this one. Party Top by Abby Knits. Fabulous. Okay, so, um, well, I guess we just went ahead and jumped into foes. Uh, another finished object that I did was the baby blanket. I don't have it here to share because uh, it's already been gifted. I knit that sucker uh, in two days. <laughs> Uh, my sister has a co-worker that was pregnant and they were having a baby shower and she decided to tell me like uh, four days before the baby shower. She asked me if I could knit a blanket and I was like, hmm, I guess so, okay. Uh, I ended up using, I don't, I think I showed it last podcast. I might have, I'm not sure. I don't have the yarn to show because I used all of it, but it was um, Yarn Bee in Alpaca. It's like the Hobby Lobby brand and it's uh, in Alpaca, I think. I don't think it was 100% alpaca because I don't think they sell that, but it was maybe like an acrylic alpaca blend. Um, but it was light pink, like baby pink and uh, extremely hairy. It shedded little like alpaca furs 
everywhere. Like, I, I vacuumed the top of the couch, and I lint rolled everything, and I still feel like there's alpaca hairs. I'll pop in a picture of what it looks like. It's just a basic square baby blanket, and I put pom-poms on the corners to make it look a little bit more girly, I guess. I don't really know. And I wanted to use up all of that yarn because I did not want to keep any of it. So I just was like, here, you know what? I'm going to just add some pom-poms. And then I made a tassel with the leftover. I'm like, here, tie that to the bag that you're going to put this in. Uh, but sis said that she loved it. So I I'm, I'm guess I'm happy about that. It, I just did the uh, grandma's favorite dishcloth pattern where you cast on three and then like you knit, you knit a row and then at the end of the row, you like knit one, make one, knit across until two stitches or one stitch. You make another one and then you knit and then you do the same thing back and forth. So you're just like starting with a little bit and then you're just increasing until you're about to like until you're halfway of how big you want and then you start decreasing. So I had four balls of it. So I held a double and then I just like knit until I ran out of the first two balls and then started decreasing with the other two. Quick FO that I should I took a video of me talking about it and it's not anywhere on my phone. Like, I just was like, oh, I got to remember to talk about this on the podcast. Let me video real quick. And I cannot find it anywhere. It's not in my recently deleted. So I'm wondering if I just flat out never clicked record, which I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> and another thing that I finished, I haven't really finished a lot of things just because all of November I was knitting this. Um, some Someone ordered something from Etsy. I did three hats and then a hat and mitten set. Um, this is just like nothing exciting, just a... One was like a ski hat. Uh, I just knit a tube that's like, uh, I think I cast on, this is with bulky yarn, so it's chunky. I did, I think it was like, I cast on like 58 with bulky yarn, so it like made something like that big. And then I just like knit until I want to say it was like 50 rows, and then I seamed it, and then I like folded it three times. So the hat is like thick. It's perfect for going into the Arctic. Um, and then the lady, uh, she ordered one in like a tan color and then she ordered another one in a green color. And then I made a purple hat and then somebody ordered a sparkly purple hat and mitten set. So I made those and they're already shipped out and they should already get them or still be on the way getting them soon. Uh, so yeah, I don't have any pictures of that. I think I video just a little bit of the mittens um, that are going to be in Vlogmas, which I'll talk about in a little bit. This episode, I think, hopefully, hopefully, is going to be kind of short because I don't really have that much to talk about. Uh, but yeah, I'll show those. I'll talk about Vlogmas and show the videos later so I can tell you all about that. Oh, another thing. Um, so y'all remember those gloves that I made for my manager or boss, what, whatever his title is? Those uh, like rainbow, the, uh, why can't I think of the brand of the yarn? Lollipop yarns and the night vision colorway. I've talked about them for like the past four episodes. He finally picked them up. I'll pop in a picture of Lucas wearing them or not wearing them, but holding them up. And then uh, the next day he, well, not the next day, but a couple days later, he sent me a picture of his hands with the gloves on. So I hope that he's getting lots of wear out of those. It made me so happy that he like finally got them and he can just wear them. And I was about ready to uh, just keep them for myself. <laughs> But I'm happy that he finally got them and uh, he's loving them. At least I hope he is. Oh, and uh, one more thing that I want to talk about real quick. So Kaylee, uh, I don't know, how, Gary, Gary, I, I don't know how to say your last name. I know you're probably watching this, but Haley, uh, her Instagram name and her, uh, she's got patterns on Ravelry, which I am going to cast on one of her hats soon. I can't remember the name of it. She just posted it on Instagram. It's the one that's DK. DK or sport or worsted. I can't, I should have researched this before I podcasted, but it's one of them. I, I bought yarn um, after I got off our cruise in September, I think is when it was. And I bought like this perfect like shade of this like pistachio green yarn. And uh, I haven't found a pattern that I liked that's in sport DK or worsted. I can't remember what size it is, but whatever the pattern she released, it's the same size as the yarn that I have. So I'm going to cast that one on. Um, probably not until the new year though, but she's got a Ravelry page. She's got tons of beautiful patterns. It's Loch Knits, Loch, no, Loch Knits, L-O-C-H-K-N-I-T-S, Loch Knits. Yeah, like Loch Ness Monster. I think so. Is it? I hope I'm not butchering that. Anyway, she is a super cool human. She is the best, best ever. She sent me, um, 
This, okay, so this is my like pattern book. I keep all of my patterns in it. Like here's my Dick Hops the pattern. Here, well, I probably shouldn't be showing these because this is a paid for pattern. Anyways, I put all of my yarn related stickers that are blowing out. Let me, okay. That's probably not the smartest thing to have lights on shiny stickers, but, oh, here we go. Yeah, you can see them. She gave me this yarn slut sticker, which I love. And then she also gave me this one, which is her, uh, I don't, I can't find the handle or anything for this, but it says goth grandma knits. And she also, so she got to go to Rhinebeck. She lives up uh, pretty close to New York or in New York. She might live in Pittsburgh or somewhere. I can't, somewhere up there. But uh, she, I got a letter in the mail. I'll pop it in a picture. First off, her stamp. I don't know if you guys know, but I love cats and I love yarn. She's got a stamp that's a cat holding a yarn ball. That's like my favorite things. And if they had onions with that, that would be me and a stamp. But uh, she sent me, I got something in the mail. Totally wasn't expecting it. And then she put in a note. I can't remember what the note says because uh, it was like a month ago, but it's in the picture. Um, she got me a little, the Rhinebeck sticker, the little bus, the New York sheep and wool. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Ah, it might be blowing out this little guy right here. Look at that. I just love it. I was so, like, that is so nice of her. The fact that she like got, went out of her way to give me a sticker to mail it. Cause I couldn't go. It just, oh, it made me so happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, um, Caitlin brought me back, or Jen brought me back, I can't, one of my knitting, uh, group friends brought me back the Hello, I'm Worth It. I think Shelly canned and did that. I can't remember the name of the per I wasn't there, so I didn't know the whole story behind it. I watched a couple of videos, but I got one of those guys. I never stick stickers on, like, shirts or, like, anything just because... I feel like when she, like once you're done with the day, like you gotta peel the sticker off, throw it away to wash your shirt. So I like to keep my stickers on this. But yeah, I, that just made my day. So thank you so much, Haley, for sending that. She also has a new sticker. Um, her like her new logo. It says Loch Ness, and it's got like a circular needle, and it's got a spider web like in between them. It's badass. She is she is the definition of like yarn punk. <laughs> like goth grandma knits is like a perfect thing for her uh yeah y'all need to go follow her it's lock knits on instagram and i'm pretty sure it's uh it's like i, th I think it's her first and last name on ravelry but her patterns might be under lock knits uh, if you if you go on her instagram she's got all of her, in her uh, information there i'll pop it up on the screen and i'll link it down below so you guys can go and follow her okay so i am just gonna jump into whips uh, I'm already at 18 minutes, so I feel like this episode is going to fly by. I don't have very many whips on the needles, but <laughs> I do have one that you guys have seen forever and ever and ever. Yes, cue the eye roll once you see this bag. Uh, it's my road trip, you guys. I know you're just so annoyed, so I'm not going to talk that oh and i'm in the middle of a row so remember how last episode i was like i'm not a fan of brioche i don't understand it i'm just gonna wait until i have better yarn blah 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 all that oh this is road trip by vera valmacki if you haven't had it memorized by now <laughs> so this was my brioche section that i think i knit all of one row and uh, my friends helped me with the rest of it and then i was like i can't figure it out i'm gonna do corrugated ribbing so i did that for uh this little section you see right here uh, well, I I don't know why it didn't dawn on me that corrugated ribbing only works like in the round because there's a right side and there's a wrong side because the wrong side's gonna have all your little floats. Corrugated ribbing is where you have um, like two colors. It kind of looks like brioche, but not really. Uh, it has, you have two different colors and you're doing ribbing, but like say you're doing, so you have like red and white or red and green because it's Christmas time. Uh, you'll knit all of your knit stitches in red and all of your purl stitches in green. So it's gonna be like red, green, red, green, red, green, when it's also knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. So it looks really, really cool, but it doesn't look cool if it's flat because the, the one side, it looks great, but the back side, you can't really see it on this. I don't know if there's a, I think the camera will blow it out. Anyways. So it just was like this jumbled mess and I was just like, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> I've been knitting on this for like six months now. It should be done. I'm like angry. Oh, what am I doing with this yarn ball? What is going on? Um, 
I was angry that I'm still working on it and I don't have a shawl. Like I've never knit myself a shawl before. I've got a cowl that I made, but not a shawl. And I'm like, you know what? It's cold and I want to have something like squishy wrapped around my neck. So I cut the ends to the variegated and the white yarn and I've got this much blue yarn left from this. So I'm just knitting. I've got, I think, all of one round done. I think I'm on row two. Uh, yeah, I'm on road too. I'm just doing a uh, stockinette in this color until I run out of yarn and I'm just going to bind off. And that's going to be the end of the shawl because I feel like it's big enough. <laughs> like this is long enough and it's definitely wide enough. There's like almost 500 stitches on the needle. So <laughs> there's a lot and I am just flat out ready to be done with it. And it takes like 20, 20 ish, 15 minutes to get through one row. So this is definitely gonna take a while, but that I am just so ready to have that done. So that, oh, this is about to fall off. Oh, I'm missing the, ah, I'm missing the other back to my enamel pin. All right, Caitlin had a really good idea. She took all of the enamel pins off of her bags and got a separate bag. Um, it's actually this bag that she got, but in black. Um, and she put all of her enamel pins on one bag and she keeps all of her needles in it. So I feel like when my bags get too heavy and I lose one or if I just am like, I think I might copy that idea and put all of them on there. But the only thing is there's already holes in the bag, like from where I already stabbed the enamel pin. But hmm, oh well, I'll figure, I'll figure it out when I get there. That's the only whip really that you guys know about this one. Um, I showed this bag. Everything is living in a By the Bay Yarn Co. bag. Um, here's another one. This is her big giant one. These, Nanny, if you're watching this, uh, please put headphones in so Paps won't hear this because this is Paps' Christmas present. Okay, if you have headphones in, we're good. Sorry for everybody else who uh, doesn't live at Nanny and Paps' house <laughs> that just had to wait to put headphones in. But this is Paps' Christmas present and I don't want him to know. But I, um, it, this is patent wool worsted, I think. It's 100% like real wool. Um, and it's so cheap. You can get it at Michael's, Joann's. I'm pretty sure they have it at Joann's too. But uh, this was on, like, I think it's originally like $6.99 maybe. It was on sale for uh, $1.99 or $1.97 or something like that. I got these so cheap. And it's Paps' favorite color, so it works out great. Uh, but I am making him mittens and I did all of this at Knitsgiving. I think I cast on, um, there's one of my hairs in it. Here, one thing, if you get a knitted present from me, 99% chance there's going to be a red hair somewhere in there. Um, I did the wrist, uh, like most of the wrist at, I think I cast on and I knit maybe like an inch at wine night with Caitlin and then I knit the rest of it at Knitsgiving, and I haven't worked on it since then. I think I did knit it, I tried to knit at Alex's family's Thanksgiving, but I was like four glasses of wine deep, and I accidentally picked up, like I st I'm knitting them two at a time, so I picked up, like I just held on to this yarn while I was, like for this mitten, and I was knitting onto this one. So I was like, what? where's this yarn at? So I had to tick everything back, and I was like, you know what, I probably shouldn't be, probably shouldn't be knitting right now. But these are going to be, where's, where did I just set that bag? The, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's called the Men's Convertible, uh, Men's Convertible Gloves and Thumbs. Oh God. So it looks like this. It's probably gonna be super glary because I've got a sleeve protector on it. But you can kind of see them up at the top. Um, they're just gonna be glove. These are, I could, if I would just sit down and work on them, I could have them done in like two days. Uh, maybe not two days, but you know what I mean? Like I could have them done quick, but, uh, so they're going to be gloves. <laughs> they're going to be gloves, uh, that stop about right here. And then they're going to have like, let, I'll model them. So pretend that this is not pretend that's already finished. So they're going to stop here. And then on the other side, like they'll just have ribbing that goes right here and they'll have a thumb hole that also has ribbing on it. And then on this side of the hand, it's going to be attached on, but it's going to be like a little jacket. So you like pull over your hand and it's going to look like a full, like regular mitten. And then since his hands get cold when he watches like TV and everything, he's got a blanket and everything to put on, but his hands still get cold. So he can wear these. And then when he's ready to change the channel, he can pull the mitten thing off, 
click like channel up channel whatever it is and then he'll just pull it right back and he's got gloves and I'm doing the same thing on the thumb so it's gonna be like a little jacket um, if that doesn't make sense the best way I can describe it is uh, it's like a hoodie so it's like you can pull the hoodie up and then when you're ready to like use your fingers you can just pull the hoodie right back down so hopefully those get done quick and they fit and he likes them it's oh my gosh there's red hair everywhere <laughs> um if he i'm getting it done uh sometime this month i think on the 16th or the 18th because uh this i'm not happy the uh she did a temporary color like it was supposed to be like purple uh like a dark red purple into regular red and she said she was going to do a temporary color to uh like preserve the life of my hair and like help it rather than just putting a dark color on it because in the summertime I'm going to go back to bright red. She was like, oh, I don't want to have to bleach it so we'll put a temporary color, but it washed out like within two showers. Like you see this? Like it's so, so dark already. So I'm just going to be like, damage my hair, please. <laughs> put, uh, just put dark, dark burgundy red on top of it and then we'll just deal with it when it comes to um, like summertime when I want it bright. But yeah, normally this, like this time last year, I had like really dark, dark red hair. So that's like, this is not, I mean, granted it is festive, but I want dark hair for the winter. So I'm getting it done. So hopefully um, I can word it the correct way so she can do it how I want it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm getting this, my hair done and Pat's gloves. Nanny, you can take your headphones back out if you want to. Um, that's what I'm making it for Christmas. And another thing, uh, Zach, my brother, I don't think he watches, uh, but if you do, close your eyes. Uh, so this also, this bag, Caitlin went to East Texas Fiber Festival and By the Bay Yarn Co. was there. Shocker, another By the Bay, another By the Bay bag. And she got this one and it's a backpack. So you can carry it like a crossbody satchel where it like hangs down like this, or you can wear it. Let me figure this out. You can wear it as a backpack. If I can maneuver it, you can wear it as a backpack. Is that not awesome? So that means that if you're walking downtown, nobody can reach in and steal your stuff because when you have it on, it like automatically closes the top and there's no way you can get in there. So yeah, you just pull it this way and pull it out or you could do it the way that I've been using it um, is I just have it like a regular bag. So it's just like a normal, normal bag, but I have it as, well, it's kind of hard to show the inside. So I've got it like a normal one where you just like carry it as the handles. This bag is awesome. Um, I'll, once again, I talk about By the Bay Yarn Co. all the time. Uh, it, she's got, oh, I can't scoot my stool over because my binder's in the way. She's got so many amazing bags. She had a huge uh, Cyber Monday or Black Friday sale or an update. I can't remember what it was, but I refused to let myself click onto her page because I knew that I would buy way more than I needed. So this, living in this By the Bay Yarn Co. bag that Caitlin gave me, thank you so much. She, um, she ended up getting like four different bags, I think. She, she got a ton at East Texas, but yeah, I uh, swindled her out of this one. <laughs> so this is what I'm knitting for my brother. Um, Zach, if you're watching, stop watching, uh, because I definitely want this to be a surprise for you. And anybody who gets easily offended or, um, does, or who is kind of young, don't look at this. Uh, it's going to, <laughs> so my brother hunts and, uh, he's all into camo and deers and everything. I'm going to hold this pattern. It's a free pattern. So I'm not, um, like I'm not giving anything away, but Heads up if you get offended or if you're like sensitive to stuff like this, please don't watch. I'll tell you when to watch again. Um, I'm making, <laughs> it takes a little bit to realize what it is. It's deers, regular old deers just having some fun. <laughs> okay, now you can look again if you didn't want to see that. Uh, but I know Zach will die laughing when he sees that. And so I'm, I don't know if his wife will find it as funny. So I'm going to knit the family friendly side too. Uh, I've got the pattern on this side. I don't know if the actual pattern you have to pay for. I know the chart was free. I can't remember. I bought this a while ago or downloaded it a while ago. But um, there's two ways to wear it. It's called the... I didn't. I don't have the name on any of these sheets of paper. No? Okay, I'll pop the name on the screen of whatever it's called because for some reason I didn't... When I print out patterns, I like crop it to make it really big so I can use up 
the whole entire sheet of paper. So I guess I cropped that part out. Um, but there's a two ways to do it. So there, you can either make that uh, picture of the deers, like just the whole hat. I think it's got like three sets of deers going around it, or four maybe. Um, you can either have that the, on the whole hat and it just be that, or you can do a reversible hat. So on the other side, it's just like a deer, like one deer, and then it's like two trees, and then it's a deer and then two trees. So uh, I'm gonna make him the family friendly version. So when he's hanging out with his friends or whatever, he can wear the fun side. And then if he's around like kids or people who don't find this kind of stuff funny, they can he can flip it inside out and it'll just be regular deers. And I am using, I know my brother, and I know that he will probably get this hat extremely dirty and wear it all the time. So I'm knitting it out of 100% machine washable acrylic yarn, which I'm not big on acrylic because it's plastic and I'm, if we can get rid of as much plastic as we can, that's a great thing. But this, sometimes there's a time, there is a time and a place for acrylic yarn. And um, for a brother who will probably wear this hunting and get mud and stuff on it, this is the time and the place to use acrylic. So I'm using it, um, Amber Lindemann, who is the yarn hoarder, I actually printed out her Ravelry notes um, for this hat she made it, and I love the colors that she made it in. It was just like a almost off-white, what does this color say it is? Oh, linen. So it's like a, um, it's not quite bright white, and it's not gray or beige, it's just like a dirty white. Kind of sounds gross. And then this one is just like a graphite, uh, like a dark gray color. So I think these will go good. This is the colors that she knit hers out of, and I just got this yarn. I want to say these, yeah, four ninety nine each. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And I think this will be enough to make both hats, like the regular side and the family friendly side. Uh, but I'm not casting this on until I finish Paps's gloves, because I know that this I will just fly through. Because I, well, I mean. Technically, I have to knit two of these hats, one one side, and then the other this side. Um, I don't know if I will be able to fly through them that quick, but I know that color work, I just love color work, so I'll probably just be like, oh, this is so much fun, I'm just going to keep knitting. Also, Zach, uh, his birthday is January 26th, so it works out great. If I don't finish it by Christmas, I can like wrap it up with the needles and be like, Merry Christmas, you'll get it on your birthday. <laughs> so it'll work out great, even if I don't finish it. But fingers crossed, I will finish it in time. But also something I made, I forgot to mention this in finished objects, but uh, they just moved into a brand new house and, well, it's brand new to them. Me and my mom made these, like, I'll pop in a picture because it's kind of hard to describe. Uh, his wife, Kaylin, sent us a picture of these like pom-pom Christmas trees from some boutique and was like, can you make these? And so we did. They're having like a housewarming like party and I think she's gonna have those somewhere in the kitchen. Okay, um, with some new things that I got. Uh, I got the Suburban Stitcher Advent Calendar and it's December 3rd right now, so I, already opened them but again I'll talk about all of that in vlogmas. Something else that I got um, and it, this is a great great Christmas present if any of you guys have knitters or crocheters in your life that you don't know what to get them get them this book so a girl that I knit with her name is Lisa she I don't know how she did it but she published a book you guys she has a book like you can buy this at Barnes & Noble that's where I got it and I don't know other bookstores you can buy it at. I'm sure she's got more places than Barnes & Noble, but I for sure know it's at Barnes & Noble. Um, and she's got a website for it. I'll pop it up on the screen. It's www.knitpraysshare.com. This is her book. I am so incredibly proud of her. Uh, I'll pop in a picture of us together holding her book up at knit night. But you guys, this, it has so many. I'm going to flip through it fast. Um, so, because this is a book that you have to buy, and there's patterns all in this but she's got amazing stuff and I've got one bookmarked um I'm gonna cover this is I'm just gonna bring I don't want to bend the book I'm just gonna show the picture I'm not gonna show the pattern okay here we can kind of see them where there's no glares ah these y'all filming with lights is so hard especially on like glossy paper mm -hmm. okay anyways you get you get the gist of what I'm showing these socks are the socks it's a variation of the pattern that I use and I'm gonna use her pattern this year um, the socks that I always talk about the um, the tube socks hers are called tube socks so if you go to her 
website and get, like buy the book or whatever, you can knit the socks that I always talk about. Great, great, great Christmas presents. You cast on the toe. I think, I don't know if hers is, I haven't read through the pattern yet, um, if they're toe up or cuff down. But you just knit their worsted weight and you just knit a whole tube with toes and a cuff and they're socks for people. They take like maybe four hours or six, depending on how fast you can knit. But you guys, she's got a variation of my one of my favorite sock patterns. So I'm definitely going to knit her her version of the pattern this year. And she's also, like, this book has the cutest stuff in it. Like, she's got um, a super easy, like, if you're a beginner knitter, this is a perfect book for you. Or if you're trying, um, like, if you, if you know somebody that's wanting to learn how to knit, um, sorry if you can hear the pages rattling. If you have somebody that wants to learn how to knit, like this is also like she, her instructions are so perfect. Here's a hat that's so cute. It's just a, it's called chunky knit hat with pom pom. Look at that. I'm purposely holding it way back so it doesn't focus so you don't see the patterns. And also another thing uh, that's super cool about Lisa is she includes um, like, so here's another scarf. Uh, and it's got pockets in it. Oh my gosh, nothing is focusing. Uh, okay, take my word for it though, because you can see it. She includes right here, um, it's like a, oh God, receipts flying everywhere. It's a Bible verse and like a little quote, like a little passage that goes with whatever the pattern is, which is super awesome. And you don't see very many books that do that. Uh, and Lisa, like, she just is killing everything. Like, look, like you can like have a book to put your stuff, or a book. A basket to put like cell phones and stuff in she's a runner um, like hardcore runner and she like runs 5k's and all that stuff she even made one that's a runner's towel ah, it's not focusing but it this y'all please go even next time you're at Barnes & Noble or at a, another bookstore that carries this book um, go buy this and support my friend because she works so hard on this and it is a great 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 book it's called knit pray share and I'm definitely going to, uh, oh, I just tossed that receipt once again. I'm going to be knitting uh, patterns out of this for Christmas presents. I'm so happy and I will support this book till the end of time. Go, 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 go buy this and support Lisa. Get this for, if you're looking for a Christmas present, don't buy a basic how to knit book or beginner patterns. Get this one because it's got, oh, she also, I forgot about this. Um, she puts little hearts like skill level, like here's one for ear warmers. I don't know if you can see that, but you see those little hearts right there, like right next to my finger. Sorry, it's blurry, it's out of the light. Um, she uses that as skill level. So one heart means, she's got it somewhere at the beginning. Like, look at this, look how cute her, her page is, like the table of contents. This, if you're a plant person, like a succulent, they've got little like sweaters on, like the little pots have sweaters. She also has boot cuffs, which are really cute, and I think I'm going to actually make those. Anyway, so she's got, for simple, it has one heart, and if it's advanced, it goes all the way up to four hearts. And uh, it says, for any unfamiliar techniques, please refer to my knitting tutorials tab at knitpreshare.com. She's got a little video camera symbol, and if you see, like, in the pattern, if it's got the video camera, like, sh like shape, emoji, whatever it is, next to... Um, like one of the steps, you can go to her website and find the pattern and it'll show you like a, vi like a video tutorial of her like showing you how to knit this. So this is a perfect, perfect book for beginner knitters or if you are a beginner knitter, um, I think she might have a crochet pattern in here, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, but Or if you're a crocheter who wants to learn how to knit, uh, this is a great book. She's got tutorials for it and she's got like, sorry, I just... Um, when I shut that, dust came out of it and it went right to my eye. Yeah, if you are struggling to learn how to knit, she's got tutorials on this. I will link this book below. I'll put her website underneath it. Go and support Lisa because this book and the, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so soft. Like it's that type of material that you just know it's nice. <laughs> like this is a nice book. It's definitely coffee table decoration material. It's going to live on Alex and I's coffee table. This is just, all right, no, I'll probably put it on the bookshelf so it doesn't get anything spilled on it. But this is a great book and I cannot recommend it enough. Go and support Lisa and get this for any knitters that you need Christmas presents for or just buy it for yourself. It's a great book. Oh man, I forgot to bring it in here and Alex is still asleep. I don't want to wake him up. 
Uh, I'll pop in a picture. I found knitting wrapping paper, you guys. It's white or it's red with like white patterns on it. It's like a Fair Isle pattern that somebody knit and then took a picture of it, blew it up and printed it on wrapping paper. If you have a Winco near you, I think it's Winco's brand, but it was like $1.99 or $2.99. It was cheap. And I already wrapped a present. I gave it to Nanny. I gave her an advent calendar that's like filled with jellies, her favorite brand of jelly. And so like every day you open it, you get a little jar of jelly. Um, but I already wrapped hers in it. And y'all, this wrapping paper is so cute. And somebody else uh, chatted me on Instagram. I can't pull up my phone because it's not in here. But her name was Spinning Prodigy, maybe? Um, anyway, somebody else showed me a picture that at the Dollar Tree, they also have knitting wrapping paper. I think it's like llamas with um, like Santa hats or something like that. But there's knitting paper everywhere, you guys. So stock up. And the thing I'm most excited about, Kirby Werby Yarns. Uh, she, like a couple of weeks ago, released like a brand new colorway called Hells to the Yes. And the like pre-orders were going and it was selling quick and I was like, you know what? That's gonna be my Christmas present. I'm gonna buy the skinny yarn and I'm so excited. And it's like, I'll pop in a picture, but it's like a gray gradient, that's hard to say. Uh, so it starts out like light gray and then gets dark or dark gray and gets light, I can't remember, but it stripes with rainbow. So it's like two gradients happening at once. So it's like a rainbow, like every other stripe is gray than rainbow and it'll just like, it's so cool. It's so awesome. And it's called Hells to the Yes. And I pre-ordered it and I got a notification yesterday that it shipped. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so once I finish my car socks, which I haven't got any knitting done on, actually, um, y'all, my eye, what is going on? I uh, went to a, sorry if this grosses you out. I went to a Friendsgiving um, at my friend Cass's house. And uh, while we were just chilling and eating and talking and stuff, I had, uh, ah, my eyes killing me. I had knitting, like I was knitting, um, like in my lap under the table and I was working on my, uh, car socks. So those, I think I got all of like an inch done, but they're slowly chugging along, still nowhere near, um, any time to separate for the heel. <laughs> Again, those are my stuck behind a train, uh, waiting in a drive through line behind a long red light, like just car easy knitting socks. Or if I'm a passenger, I will bring those and I will knit while somebody else is driving. But I really uh, can't think of any. Oh, well, uh, my friend Caitlin, you guys, go look at her Instagram. Um, it's Ash Knit Stash. I'll pop it up on here. She knit the Starflake. She bought the yarn at Rhinebeck and she's already finished. And Rhinebeck, back, whatever it is. And uh, that was in October and she's already finished with it. And it is stunning. Like, it is so, she didn't, and I don't, I don't know which type of yarn she used. She told me the name of it, and I can't remember. Uh, but it's, like, one is, like, a dark black and, like, gray, and it's got, like, flecks of orange in it. And then the other one's, like, a cream color that has, uh, like, orange and, like, a little bit of, like, yellow and, like, more, like, ashy colors. It's, like, if you took a campfire and added black to it and turned it into yarn, that's what it looks like. It is gorgeous. I'll pop in a picture of it, but go look at her Instagram and you can see like a lot more pictures of it. It's a Stephen West pattern called Starflake. If I could brioche, uh, I would cast that on immediately. But I mean, I've got a long way to go until I get to that level. But y'all go look at it because it is stunning. Um, okay, so I want to end this pretty soon because I need to go put eye drops in my eye or do something or take this makeup off because I don't know what is going on. Um, I, I'm doing Vlogmas this year, but I'm doing it, um, my first year of doing Vlogmas, uh, but I'm not going to do every day, clearly, because it's December 3rd and I don't have episodes one and two up. Um, for people who don't know Vlogmas, I just got like really cold. I think a breeze came through, but I, like, I've got goosebumps. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but... Oh, it feels good in here. Throwback to like six episodes ago when I'm dying of heat. Uh, now I'm actually cold. Never thought I would say this in this room. Um, but I'm doing episode or vlog episode. Uh, ah. I'm doing like vlogmas day one through like five in one video and then like five through ten and or six through eleven, whatever. Um, I'm doing it in like five day segments just because I do work. So it's not going to be that exciting. Like if I'm like, ah, here's my, this is me going to work. And then I don't vlog for like nine hours and it's like, just got home from work. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not going to do 
the days that I vlog. If I do, like, vlog on the days that I work, it'll be, like, late at night where I'm like, ah, I'm knitting before I go to bed type of thing. So I feel like that would be very boring to upload, like, a 20-second video of that. So I'm just going to merge them all into five days, like, five-day segments. But I missed day one of Vlogmas because uh, there was some health issues going on. I was, uh, Alex had to take me to the little, like, emergency clinic hospital thing so uh i won't touch too much into that other than the fact that i had to, something went down and i had to miss day one of vlogmas so uh yeah so if you watch vlogmas and it starts on december 2nd and you're like what the heck where was day one that's why um i'm still trying to figure out what's going on so i won't say really anything until i fig if until uh, I've got some answers on to what happened and why it happened. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm missing day one of Vlogmas. Uh, so I was a little busy. <laughs> um, Alex and I set up our Christmas decorations last night. They look pretty cute. Uh, you can also see those in Vlogmas. Uh, but yeah, I think that's everything. I'm looking at my show notes and it looks like I've got a lot written down, but... I think I talked about it all. So this episode is going to be pretty short, which some of you are probably like, oh, thank God, they're too long. But yeah, that's uh, everything I've got to talk about. So if you want to follow me on Instagram and see everything that I've been going on, I vlogged or vlogged. I Instagram storied my whole cooking shenanigans. So if you follow me, you could see all the stuff that I made. Um, and then the other day I found super good onions and I talked all about and I will be posting uh, like behind the scenes, not really behind the scenes, but just like, hey, this episode's up, a Vlogmas. Hey, day through day six through 12, whatever it is, uh, is uploaded. So if you want to follow me and stay up to date on that, my Instagram is Mace of Skeins. Uh, my Ravelry is Macy Made. If you want to follow me on that, see the stuff that I made. This is not up on Ravelry just because I haven't had um, enough time to upload anything because I've been pretty busy. So this is on there, or it's not on there, but it will be on there soon. All my other projects are on Ravelry. Um, go look at, sorry, I'm like, my eye is twitching. My head is killing me. I'm ready to get out of these big bright lights. Um, my friend, Caitlin, if you want to go look at her shawl, her Instagram, I'll pop it up on the screen again. It's Ash and it's Dash. And then go get Lisa's book. Go look at Christmas presents for this one. And uh, yeah, check out Vlogmas. My friend, Emma, the one who... Uh, created the logo that you'll see in a couple of seconds and the one that was at the beginning of the video She uh, made me a Christmas version of it ah, So I can't wait to show you guys what that looks like and thanks Emma if you guys need any logos or help with any graphic design She's amazing. I always link to her email or her uh, website in the description box below So if you need anything go hit Emma up for some logos or graphic design because she's awesome Okay, well, I'm gonna go eat some more food. Nanny gave me some onion jelly that I am so excited to try. I think I'm gonna have that on some toast with hummus and maybe some eggs on top. Not really sure, but yeah. Have a happy, 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 happy holidays. Um, I don't know if I will podcast again until Christmas just because I will be doing Vlogmas, but if you wanna stay uploaded or updated on everything, turn your little notifications on for my channel and sub definitely subscribe, please. But you will see all of my Vlogmas videos and so many people are doing Vlogmas this year, you guys. Just type in like Vlogmas and you like on the search bar and you can see everybody who's doing them. Be sure to put 2019 because I don't think you would wanna watch last year's vlogs. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for all that and I'm excited to do it because I have never done Vlogmas before. Uh, hope it works out good. Don't judge, it's my first year. But yeah, okay, uh, merry early Christmas, and if you celebrate, if not, uh, happy winter. <laughs> okay, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Sorry this episode was kind of scatterbrained or short or whatever, but um, yeah, have a great day, happy knitting, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!